folks. I am Pastor Nate with DeliveranceRevolution.org. The first thing I'm going to ask you to do, because it's obnoxious, everybody's always asking, please like the video, please make positive comments, please share, please go to the Contact Us page on DeliveranceRevolution.org and send us a message if you would like to join our Zoom prayer meetings. One of the things we're known for is discipleship, getting people free through deliverance and healing, of course, but discipleship. We meet every day for hours a day and then have many night groups. So you are saturated with deliverance and the word of God and discipleship instead of just occasional Zoom meetings where you don't get any prayer. Uh, no criticism to the other ministries. It's just most people. It's like an online church here. We just stay at it till you're free. The only thing that'll get you out of there is if you quit. Today's on self-deliverance, prayer, depression, anxiety, sorrow, and sadness. Again, like, share, please subscribe. Let me pray first. In the mighty name of Jesus, I come against every demonic spirit that is in resistance and rebellion to deliverance ministry. I command them be bound, rendered powerless in the name of Jesus. Any spirit trying to withstand, distract, ridicule, cast doubt, or hinder. Hinder your freedom in Jesus Christ's mighty name must obey. Satan, we resist you in the name of Jesus. We close all doors to past sin. We repent. Be sure and repent. Hit your knees if need be. We renounce you. We disavow you. We come out of agreement with you. State that you are in a blood covenant with King Jesus. And if I'm going too fast, click pause, then play. Pause, play, pause, play. I am now claiming deliverance for all of you over any and all spirits. Repent, Forgive people, claim Galatians 3.13, that your the blood of Jesus stands in for your relatives and all generational curses are broken. We close that door right now. All right. I feel like I ought to tell you guys that if you've been watching these deliverance videos, that you need to make sure you turn from sin. Don't keep going back in sin and just think those videos will just take care of it, right? These videos will help you get out of sin, most definitely. But if you keep returning to sin, you need to deal with that sin. You need to overcome that sin, right? Okay, so that would, I mean, that includes anything. Smoking pot, drug loot, fornicating with your girlfriend, your boyfriend. Come on, folks, let's get free and stay free. Quit sinning, hatred, anger, disrespect to your parents, whatever you put in your eye gates is going in your heart. Whatever you put in your ears is going in your heart. Whatever you speak out your mouth, show me what you do with your money. I'll show you where your heart is. Show me what you do with your time. I'll show you where your heart is. Show me who you hang out with. I'll show you your future. This is what the word of God teaches us. Confess with your mouth. I'll show. Be sure and come back to these self-deliverance videos again and again. Anytime you feel attacked with these various spirits, you can use these self-deliverance videos or shuffle the entire playlist to self-deliverance videos. And you can get some sleep at night, get some, well, it, it'll certainly cut out attacks. Whether you get some deliverance you sleep, that really depends on the Lord. So today I'm gonna to be praying against depression. I'm gonna be praying against anxiety. I know oftentimes anxiety spirits are, are linked to depression. So I'm gonna be praying against that as well. I'm going to be praying against heaviness, negative thinking, many different things, right? Try to make these deliverance prayers pretty general so that they're applicable to pretty much everybody, right? So even if in the title, that's not something that specifically applies to you, there's still a pretty good chance that you'll receive some deliverance regardless. So just re repeat this prayer. Speak it out loud. Read Mark 11. 23, 24, when Jesus talks about speaking out loud. He mentions it three times in those scriptures. Woo. So you can just repeat this prayer after me. Just say, Father, I come before you in the name of Jesus. I ask you, Lord, to deliver me. I renounce all of my sin and I let go of all unforgiveness. Think who you need to forgive. And I renounce every demonic spirit. I renounce depression. I renounce anxiety. I renounce, I disavow. I come out of agreement with heaviness. You're no longer going to go around saying you're depressed. Come out, heaviness, and you could renounce anything else. Do it right now. All these prayers are interchangeable, but people like to feel like they're receiving a specific prayer for a specific problem. I can take a prayer about marriage and turn it into getting rid of a occult type oath that I made. I can use that prayer because the same answer applies to both Jesus and what he did on the cross for you 2,000 years ago. 
And that may not make sense at this stage, but that's okay. That's why we try to get you to come to the group every day, disciple you, mentor you, get you free, spread the word. God uses this little ministry and you can renounce anything else that might be applicable to your situation. Then after that, you can say, I renounce Satan, all of his demons in Jesus name. And I ask you, Lord, to forgive me and cleanse me of all unrighteousness in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and pray for you guys. Be sure and get with us and the contact us too in your testimonies. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for my brothers and sisters, Lord God. I pray that now, right now, for their deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God, I thank you that we can receive deliverance through the name of your son. So we come before you, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and we come against every demonic spirit right now. Keep looking in the camera lens, folks. Every demon that hears the sound of my voice, I bind and lock in fire in the name of Jesus Christ. All spirits of heaviness, all spirits of depression, all spirits of negative thinking and sadness, loneliness, rejection. I come against you demons in the name of Jesus Christ. I cancel your mission right now, Satan, in the name of Jesus Christ. You demons have failed your mission and it's time to leave your demons have no authority. It's time to go. You have no authority inside of their flesh, so you have to go. Come out of the soul right now. Every depression spirit that came down the bloodline, every spirit of heaviness that came down the bloodline, every spirit of anxiety that came down the bloodline. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that it would be burnt out now. In Jesus' name, Father God, we pray that the fire of God from the top of their head to the soles of their feet, every demon that hears me, I loose weeping and gnashing of teeth unto every spirit of grief, every spirit of ungodly sorrow. We command you to leave in the name of Lord Jesus. I uproot you devils, uproot you devils in the name of Jesus. I have you rooted out right now at the name of Jesus. Every spirit of depression and heaviness that came in through repetitive failure. Father God, I pray that it would be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord, that your word says that you have plans to prosper us, to do good unto us, not to harm us. Say you receive that. Say, I receive that, Lord. I know you want good for me. Say that out loud. I know that my brothers and sisters have a future in you, Lord, that you have plans to prosper them. I pray that those plans would come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. All set to all setbacks, Father, delays, Father's God, I pray that everything be returned, be broken off, returned sevenfold in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any heaviness spirits or depression spirits that are in the chest, I command you to come up and out right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All depression, anxiety, fear, heaviness, fear of the future, come up and out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We command you spirits to expel out of the eyes, the nasal passage in the mouth. We command you spirits to come out. Now in the name of Jesus, you demons cannot hide in there. Every demon that is trying to stay embedded in people's personalities and trick them into thinking that it is, that that is who they are. In other words, demons will try to make it believe it's you. Keep looking into my eyes, folks. You're lying, demons. It's not them. It's you. Come out. I call fire upon every demon. Everybody who's watching this, receive the anointing. I call fire upon you now. Demon, you know you're the one doing it. We command you to leave. Father God, would you send fire down like Sodom and Gomorrah? Every depression and spear, fear spirit that has embedded itself in the soul and the personality and the emotions, we command you up and out in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that your fire would go through their body right now. Burn through their body right now. Burn up every stronghold, every spirit of heaviness and negative thinking that came in through failure, that came in through drug use, that came in through rejection. I command it up and out of the mouth now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every demon that hears me, 
I lock you and fire you devils. You have to leave. In the name of Jesus Christ, you're defeated by the blood of Jesus Christ. You demons cannot withstand the power of God. So we command you to be uprooted right now, Lord. I pray that in your angels' names. Wait a minute. So we command you to be uprooted right now, Lord. I pray that your angels would pull these devils at the root, pull them out of the belly, pull them out of the chest. Every depression spirit that came in through childhood problems, childhood trauma. Father, I pray that it would be driven out in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Fire, fire against you devils. We command you to leave right now in Jesus' name. All heaviness and depression come out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Seasonal sadness over your situation, depression over your circumstances, depression over your environment. Come up and out in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every depression spirit that is stealing hope, every depression spirit that is stealing joy, I command you to come up and out right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Every spirit of procrastination that is hindering people from taking care of their responsibilities that they need to take care of, come up and out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Satan, we break your hold. Satan, we break your hold. I command you spirits to uncoil off the shoulders, the mind, the chest, all the way out of the body. Spirits, you have to flee right now in Jesus' mighty name. We command you devils up and out all the way out of their body. Every depression spirit, every negative thinking spirit that is sitting in the mind, that is feeding lies about their future, that is feeding lies about their circumstances, come up and out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every demon that is making people have a fear of the future, fear of failure in the future, fear of rejection. I command you up and out in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, your word says that there is no fear in love, but perfect love cast out all fear. So Lord, I pray that your love would break all fear, would break all anxiety. Lord, your word says that we can cast out cares, cast our cares upon you. For you care for us, Lord God. I just pray that the truth of your word would respond in the spirit man right now in the name of Jesus. Every demon that is hindering them from believing in the truth of your scripture, Father, I pray that these devils would be broken, that their missions would be canceled. My God has given me authority to cancel your mission. Satan, you devils are defeated. You cannot hide in there. I burn you with Holy Ghost fire in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father God, I pray that fire would go from the top of their heads to the soles of their feet. Lord, if uh, if Elijah can do it and call it down on the 850 prophets of Baal, then we can hear in this fire like, prayer. Lord, everybody who's doing this prayer, receiving this prayer by their demons, evil spirits, feel fire now, burn, come out, head top of the head to the soles of their feet. I pray that your angels would expose and uproot any devils that are trying to hide, any demons that are trying to hide in the emotions. Every demon that manipulates the emotions, I command you up and out right now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We command you spirits to flee. Lord, I pray that your angels would wage war, wage war against the demonic kingdom right now in Jesus' name. I pray that a legion of angels would be loosed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ unto my brothers and sisters, wherever and whenever they are listening to this prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord God, that they have a bright future ahead of them. I thank you, Father God, that you will take care of them. You will take care of their finances. You will take care of their family. You will take care of all the worries and anxieties that they have. Father, your word says, be anxious for nothing. But in prayer and supplication, let our requests be known to you. So, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that they would have the peace that surpasses all understanding. I pray that you would anoint them with the oil of gladness, Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every spirit of heaviness come up and out in the mighty name of Jesus the Lord Jesus Christ, every demon that gives you repetitive negative thinkings, I break it in Jesus' name. Lines of negative thinking, Father, I pray that it would be broken in Jesus' name, expecting the worst 
expecting loss, expecting failure, come up and out in the name of Jesus, every negative thinking spirit that is hindering people from believing in you, Lord, from having faith in your promises. I command these devils to leave in the name of Jesus Christ. For it is written, all of the promises of God are yes and amen to the glory of God by us. So, Father, I thank you that they would be able to believe in the truth and promises of your scripture, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every demon that is hindering faith in the scriptures, faith in the promises of God, come up and out. Out in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We command you spirits to flee. Keep looking in the camera, folks. Use your pause button as needed. We pray fire against you spirits. We give you no rest. Take your time on this. This is a long prayer. You can use this for an hour or two. You go back and forth, back and forth through it. We give you no rest. Satan, I tear down your strongholds in Jesus' name with the fire of the living God. We tear down every stronghold of negative thinking. Negative thinking spirits that came in through dysfunctional family members. Come up and out in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says that we are not as those without hope. The Bible says that Jesus Christ is the hope of glory. We have hope. We have faith. and We have love. So you devils have to flee in the name of Jesus. We got every requirement in the name of Jesus Christ. For the Bible says, submit yourself to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. So we command you spirits to flee now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every demon that puts brain fog in the mind, every spirit that puts confusion in the mind, every spirit that puts heaviness in the mind, come up and out in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord Jesus Christ, we command in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we command you spirits, flee. Lord, your word says, whatever is pure, righteous, and holy, think on these things. I pray that my brothers and sisters would be able to think on these things in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of death, every spirit of sorrow and grief, we command you, leave now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit of death that entered in through the death of family members, every spirit of death that entered in through People dying around you, we command you to leave in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Feeling like your future will never get better. Every evil memory recall spirit, <clears throat> I command you out in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, your word says we should not inquire about the quote unquote good old days for this is not a wise inquiring. So Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that they would not be dwelling on the memories of the past, that they be able to forget the things which are behind and press onward to the high calling, which is in Christ Jesus. Father, help them out to put on the full armor of God, that they might press forward in their faith, that they might press forward in their calling. Every spirit of oppression that keeps people stuck in their bed all day, every spirit of depression that tries to make people lazy and oversleep and lethargic, I command you out in Jesus' name, lethargia, the lethargia, sloth, sleeplessness, restlessness, come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Every demon that steals ambition, every demon that steals zeal, spirits of depression and heaviness that steal ambition from the kingdom of God, we command you out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray that you would anoint them with the fresh zeal, fresh infilling of the Holy Spirit of God. Say, I receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit of God. Say, Lord, it is a free gift. Then go, speak in tongues. Use your prayer language. That's to worship him. It's to edify you. But this is how you receive revelation knowledge form. It's all through the Bible. Don't pay attention to these dry cessationists. They just don't know because they don't have it. And as long as they say they don't have it, they won't have it. It's like saying, I don't have the gift of healing. Well, guess what? You won't. In the name of Jesus Christ, we command every demonic spirit that is manifesting to leave right now in Jesus' name. Every demon that hinders you from having faith, come up and out in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, Lord, your word says... 
that there's people that say, or there's somebody that says, I believe, Lord, help me with my unbelief. I pray that all unbelief and doubt and unbelief and doubt spirits that enter through depression, heaviness, and negative thinking. I command them to leave in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Doubt spirits that feed negative thoughts come up and out in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Being deceived into complaining, being deceived into murmuring, being deceived into grumbling, come up and out in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every demon that hinders you from understanding that all things work out to the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose. Every demon that hinders you from receiving that understanding, Father, I pray that it would be broken in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, that they would be able to see of the good results, even when bad things happen, Father God, that you work all things for the good of those who love you. And thank you, Father, that you are working those things out in their lives, even right now as I speak. So I command every demonic spirit to leave right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Any demons that are stuck in the esophagus, the throat, any demons that are stuck in the mind, the frontal lobe, come out in the name of Jesus. We command you, come out in the name of Jesus, you spirits. Come out of the eyes, the nasal passages, the private parts, the mouth right now in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that your fire would go through their body. Burn. Look at me, folks. Look right here. Burn in the name of Jesus. Receive the fire of God on you. All spirits, every legion of negative thinking come up and out of the mouth. Every demon trying to hold on in the, in the flesh, I pull you loose in Jesus Christ's mighty name. I pull you spirits. I shake you loose from their flesh. Come out of their emotions. Come out of their minds. Come out of their speech. Come out of their thoughts come out of their life, come out of their confession. Holy Spirit of God, Jesus, send Holy Spirit to help them. Change your confession. Change what you speak. Now in Jesus Christ's mighty name, any pharmacia, which is just sorcery, Egyptian sorcery in the blood. Father, I pray that it will be burned out of their bloodstream right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God, I pray that they're body would be free from all witchcraft through the demonic pharmacia, the antidepressants and pain pills and anxiety. All of that stuff gives the enemy a legal right to operate in you. Get off that crap and cut off the legal right. All sorcery that came in to them, drug use. Father, I pray that it would be broken. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not rely on your own insight. The doctor giving you all that dope, he doesn't know anything about demons. And he'll tell you if he got honest, nobody ever gets free. Nobody ever gets help by going to therapy and counselors and all that nonsense. The only thing going to free you is Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that all these demons of poison be burnt out of you. Drug use, all demon poison that came in through ungodly drugs come up and out. I don't care whether it's illegal or not. In the mighty name of Jesus, we command you speakers, spirits to flee up and out of the mouth, all the way out. Devils, you cannot stay up in there. Out of the mouth, loose your hold and go right now, devils. Loose your hold, come out of them. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, come out, we command you spirits. Flee, we burn you out right now with the fire of God and we command you out of their bodies. This is not your house. Father God, I pray for your anointing on every individual, Holy Spirit, Prompt them to look right here. Father God, I pray that you would sanctify these temples in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray, Father God, that you would uh, uh, give them breakthrough. Give them the breakthrough, Father God, that they've been seeking. Make sure you quit sinning, folks. Every demon that's trying to hold on to every stronghold, I command it to collapse right now in the name of Jesus. I come out in the name of Jesus, up and out, up and out, out of the body, out of them right now, now in Jesus' name, come out out of them now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pull you ruthlessly from the flesh. Rip them out, angels. Rip them out. We pull you ruthlessly from their emotions, their mind, all mental blockages, causing heaviness and negative thinking. Come out and go to the pit of hell. Do as I tell you to do, spirit, now. Come up and out in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, I pray that their flesh would not be anxious, but Father, that you would give them peace and rest. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every spirit of fear, every spirit of anxiety, anxiety spirits in the belly, in the adrenal gland, we command you, 
Come up, come up out of the mouth, out of the throat right now. Make sure they can breathe, demons. Angel, make sure they can breathe. Father God, I thank you right now in Jesus' name that I pray that they would be able to receive deliverance from many demons that are still manifesting. You keep praying this thing over and over till you are completely washed out of demons and you quit sinning and you pick up the word of God after this and you read 30 minutes every day for 30 days or 30 years, whatever the case, and you get your prayer language. If you don't have it, come to our group. I'll put you in your own bathtub. I'll baptize you in the Holy Ghost so quick your head will spin. I command you to be evicted in the name of Jesus and come up all the way out of the body. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that you would fill them with the Holy Spirit. I pray, Father God, that you would fill the empty void in their soul with your goodness. God, we thank you right now for breakthrough in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray, Father God, and even as they finish listening, that they would be able to receive from you, Father, that you would fill them with your Holy Spirit. Father, please fill them with joy, Father. Fill them with peace. Fill them with the fruits of the Spirit, Father God. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, well, I pray that you would give them the wisdom to retain their deliverance, their desire to walk with you, to use their free will to get on the narrow path, to seek your face and pray and humble themselves. Lord Jesus Christ, Father God, we thank you and give praise. If you guys are still receiving deliverance, go back to the beginning of this video and start listening and do it again and do it again and then do it again. Go through your deliverance and you're feel, your feeling internally relieved. To, to, to spiritually, you are soaring like an eagle and engulfed in Holy Ghost fire. Make sure you have a sound mind and peace. Make sure there's not demons coming out anymore. Make sure you redo it over and over as many times as you need to. Be honest with yourself. Then praise him. Do it again. Do it again. Then praise him. Thank him. Go to the comment section. Give a testimony. Send us a comment. Join our groups. We thank you. Go to Deliverance Revolution. Contact us. Put it on your Facebook. Put this video out there. Come on, let's help some people get free, folks. I am Pastor Nate with DeliveranceRevolution.org. And this has been Deliverance from Prayer, Depression, Anxiety, Sorrow, and Sadness. And join us for the next one. Thank you. God bless. Good night. And we'll see you on the next one.